Hi, in this video, we are going to see how to do several calculations out of only one input file. So, for example, when we do relaxed surface scans, which I have described in previous videos, you get a large set of structures that were optimized for different values of a certain parameter, for example, a bond distance or a bond angle. Relaxed surface scans take a long time, so it is sometimes necessary to do those calculations with a more or less cheap and fast electronic structure method. But then sometimes we want to uh, take all the optimized structures out of the relaxed surface scan and do another calculation on them with a, a more expensive and more accurate uh, method. So in this video, we are going to see one way of doing this. For example, this is an example input for a relaxed surface scan where a certain um, molecule binds to a cobalt porphyrin and we are scanning the distance between the uh, cobalt, which is atom zero, and a certain atom, which is number 37. And we scan from 5 angstrom to 1.80 angstrom in 33 steps. There are many options which are not really important, but we are using the B973C method by Grime, which is a quite fast method, which is also reasonably accurate for calculating uh, these uh, geometry optimizations and relaxed surface scans. So we are also using loose self-consistent field in here because to make the conversions faster and we are also using, and you can see, more relaxed uh, geometry tolerances so that the calculation will be faster. So that also means that the results of the uh, relaxed surface scan will probably be less accurate than desired. So the myscan job uh, dot input will produce many files. Some of them are the myscan.out, the myscan-trj trajectory.xyz file, and it will produce another file called myscan.allxyz. The allxyz file contains all the uh, optimized geometries out of each step of the scan, 33 geometries in total, that are uh, written one below the other with a certain uh, format. If we look at this calculation, it took actually 10 hours and 42 minutes, and in total there were 434 single point calculations performed here. So that was about 1.4 minutes per single point. That, that would be the whole self consistent field plus probably calculation of the gradients. So this is a quite fast calculation. And the molecule is not that small. I will show the molecule now. So what we obtain here, and I'm putting some smiley face because uh, this is an ongoing work. It's a collaboration. Because of the other authors, I don't want to put them in an awkward position. So basically, this molecule, this smiley face, will initially be at a certain distance from the cobalt, and then it will uh, get nearer, forming a reactant complex, which is a local minimum before the energy starts to climb. And after this, the reaction starts to happen, this molecule starts to bind to the cobalt and the coordinated water starts to uh, move away. And we get a local maximum in the relaxed surface scan, which could be a good uh, possible guess for uh, future transition state calculations. And then we go to the product where our molecule has bound to the cobalt and the water molecules are uh, forming some hydrogen bond network. So the dot all XYZ file contains uh, first the number of atoms for uh, each structure, then contains a title, and then contains the coordinates, which here I show first the cobalt coordinate. So then the different structures are separated by this uh, greater than symbol. So this is necessary for the following uh, input file. So out of this, we are going to uh, set up the input file for the multiple XYZ calculation. So the multiple XYZ calculation is another file that in here I have changed the method. So now I use TPSSH functional, which is a, a 
meta GGA hybrid functional, which I use kind of a lot, and a T set BP basis set on all atoms, and also some other options. So the input is simple, but in here we are calling, instead of showing the coordinates of all the structures that we want to calculate, 33 in total, we use this line XYZ file. One and one is the charge and spin multiplicity of the system. And then I call the file myscan.allxyz. And uh, this multiple input uh, calculation will understand that it has to run this calculation, which is in case, uh, in this case, a single point calculation, just not the geometry optimization. It will run it on all the 33 structures, one after the other. In total, this calculation took 10 hours and 18 minutes. But in contrast with the previous relaxed surface scan, this only did 33 single point calculations. So each of these calculations took 18 minutes. So that's more than 10 times more expensive than the previous method. So if we wanted to do the whole relaxed surface scan with TPSSH and, and the triple set basis set, it would have taken us a more than 10 times longer, more than 100 hours, maybe 140 hours, even running at 20 cores. So this is this shows the usefulness of the uh, composite method, doing a more or less fast relaxed surface scan and then obtaining better energies out of the optimized structures with only one input file. So each uh, calculation will also generate a table of energies. So initially, the relaxed surface scan produces a file called myscan.relaxscanact for actual energy dot dat. That is just a, an ASCII data file format. So basically, we are scanning a distance that starts at 5 angstrom and goes down to 1.8 angstrom, and we get all the energies. When we run the multiple XYZ uh, file calculation, we obtain a similar file, but this file contains energies that are numbered from 1 to 33 because the multiple XYZ calculation didn't know what we were scanning previously. For this job, only the structures are important. So we will have to basically manually replace the distances from the initial scan uh, that file into the uh, final uh, multiple XYZ that file. So, and then we can plot this with different uh, plotting software, but we have to uh, keep in mind this difference. So in here, there is a plot of the distance between our uh, one of the atoms in our uh, smiley face molecule that starts at five angstrom and goes to 1.8 angstrom. So the black squares are uh, calculations with the cheaper method, and we get this profile. The reactant complex is this uh, local minimum before we start climbing the energy for uh, the barrier of the reaction. And we see that the energies are similar. I uh, normalize both energies so that they have the same value at the reactant complex value. Remember that we are only interested in chemistry in energy differences. And you can see here that the, already the barrier calculated by the more expensive method, TPSSH, DEF2, TZBP, is different from the barrier with the B973C method. But also, the energies of the products minus the energies of the reactants are different. So we can see here that we obtain different values. I'm not going to say, in this case, which calculation is more accurate. I believe that the TPSSH will be more accurate, but it's a single point set of calculations built on top of a relaxed surface scan that was done with the other method. So I'm not saying that you should always employ this particular combination, but it's to show you an example of how you can combine different methods to obtain a good quality results in a shorter time. But you always have to use your criterion for these types of things. So this is all. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please press like. And if you enjoy most of the videos, subscribe. And um, there are many other videos on relaxed surface scan and uh, transitions 
state optimizations in this channel, so please check them out. Thank you.